Hi, I'm Rich here at uh, New Life Scientific. I'm back in our tech shop. I'm just finishing up the, the Virtus 35 EL. And I thought before we get it out and put all the panels back on and, and get it up to the photo area, I think I'm just gonna have a short, quick video of here of exactly what we did to this unit. Um, we got the back panels off of it. We're gonna get some video footage of that. But I thought it'd be great just to point out some of the things that we do when we run these through our tech shop. Um, so that the, the end user can really see uh, what's happening here. Um, right now, I've had it running for uh, probably 20 minutes, so it is all down uh, pulling a good vacuum here. You can see the lights. I don't know if you can see the screen real well, but it's at about negative 70 degrees Celsius here on the inner chamber, and then it's at negative 65 up here right now in the, in the bath chamber. But everything is running right now. The vacuum is on. Um, we're down at nine millitor on the vacuum. Um, we've got a good seal in the chamber, um, some serious evaporating going on in there. Um, we've checked all the valves, greased them, make sure that uh, they're all functioning properly. Um, we um, inspected the, the water bath up here, and I'm going to pull the lid off so maybe he can get a shot. You can see the lines in there. We don't have any fluid in there, but um, the lines are just white as snow in there. You can see they're frosted up and then the gear back there running. Um, so you can actually turn your jars. But uh, just a really nice machine after we went through and did a few things to it. Um, down here you're going to see the vacuum pump. And you can see we uh, did a flush and uh, replaced the oil in the vacuum pump also. And then uh, this is really nice. I like the way they designed this because you can do a really quick vacuum pump oil change. And that's something that's really important when you're doing a lot of evacuation. You get some contaminants in the oil. So you can just you know pop a jug, jug down here, put a hose, and drain it and, and uh, get it cleaned out. And then come up here, and you can just pull this plug here and refill the oil right back in your vacuum pump. And a really quick way to do it. Uh, makes it nice and convenient. Um, we also actually installed a drain valve up front here, which isn't um, standard on these machines, but it makes it really nice to be able to drain your water bath up here right up front. I know sometimes uh, you have to go back in the back and do it, but this, this made it nice and convenient here. Um, we also replaced the drain uh, quick connect plug here because these become a little faulty sometimes. So we also you know, got this. So this is a quick way, plug it in and uh, drain the uh, moisture out of your chamber when you're defrosting there. So just a few things uh, to, to make sure the integrity of all the seals and the vacuum is the is operating at peak performance. Um, we've got the back panels off, so you're gonna look, get a look inside here. Um, you can see this is the, this is the low stage um, compressor here. This is a two stage com compression system where you have your high and your low um, because it needs extreme cold temperatures. So you got to uh, come on back here and you can see um, this is your um, high stage and then your low stage compressor. Both of them are w running really well. Um, we just, you know, check the, the, the pressures and make sure that it's functioning well. Check the oil levels inside and uh, the, the, the oil looks good. Everything looked really good on this. So um, we didn't have to do anything on the refrigeration. It was working perfectly. Where we had to focus more on this system was uh, the vacuum integrity. Um, so that's why we ended up replacing all the vacuum hoses here. You can see here and uh, the new vacuum lines here going into the vacuum pump over here. Again, you can see the back of the vacuum pump. And uh, of course, I got this side panel off and we temporarily just hooked our vacuum pump, uh, our vacuum line up to the, directly to the pump. Normally, um, once we get it back together, you'll have the filter trap out here and then the lines will connect to it too to help trap some of the contaminants before it gets to the vacuum pump. But uh, just a quick video, like I said, just to show you what we did. Um, I've had this in, in here for about a week and just kind of going through it. Uh, another thing that we did too is um, a lot of times in refrigeration systems, all the insulation that uh, keeps the condensation from dripping all over the equipment, um, sometimes the integrity of it breaks down over time. So we, we also went in and just rewrapped a lot of the lines with, with some of this uh, insulation here you can see and uh, the keep, keep the condensation uh, from dripping all over on, underneath the machine. But uh, a really good unit, really nice performing, good looking piece of equipment. Um, it's ready for your lab or your shop. Um, again, I'm Rich with New Life Scientific and uh, this uh, 
We'll see you on the next machine.